Meeting provides an opportunity to probe your inner self, to find clarity in your feelings, in your thoughts, in your decisions, and in the direction that you're setting for your life. It is an island of calm and waiting for inspiration that is a truly special feature of Brooklyn Friends School. Hello, and welcome back to Season 2 of Brooklyn Friends School's E! News Podcast. I'm Andy Cohen, the Director of Media Services at Friends, and your host. On today's show, you will hear from first graders high atop our rooftop playground. You will also hear from a BFS alumni from the class of 1953. But first, be in the know about these upcoming events. On Monday and Tuesday of next week is the 8th grade trip to Clearpool. Yeah! On Thursday and Friday, September 21st and 22nd, we we will have no school for Rosh Hashanah. On Tuesday, September 26th is Lower School Curriculum Night starting at 6 p.m. On Wednesday the 27th from 8.30 a.m. at Lawrence Street is breakfast with head of the school for parents to do the BFS. Begun, so come, come out and support the kids for your blue prize. Yeah! It was Ben Bird. So that was the guy that kept you in line. And if you got in trouble, as I did, you went to Ben Birdsell. But they were very gentle people. And they were really committed to education. On his letter to, to Colgate was, I know the record doesn't look so good, but take a chance on this guy. And that was the interesting part of being in a small school because he could know the person. So I owe a lot to the to friends. They taught me a lot of things about, and it wasn't a lecture, it was just the atmosphere that you were friends with your mates you did things together. But I had a wonderful time. I mean, it was, a, uh, it was fun to go to school. Over the years, I've hosted many faculty members and students from Friends schools from around the world. And when they come to visit here at Brooklyn Friends, it's always a pleasure to tell them that we have a playground on the roof. And the students look at one another and they're really interested. And so they go running up the eight flights of stairs to see our rooftop playground. So on today's show, we're going to visit the rooftop and recess with the first grade. So here I am on the roof of Brooklyn Friends School. And it's one of our first wonderful days here at uh, school. And I'm here with Chris Goldmeyer who's a 1B associate teacher, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about what it's like to be on a roof, in recess, and when you're in first grade. All right. Um, The kids here get so used to sharing the space on the roof. Obviously, we don't have a, a ton of space for two classes at once to run around like we might if we had a lot of a a big schoolyard Um, and so one of the big things that they learn in first grade and beyond is how to share the roof space with each other Um, and so we see oftentimes there are many games happening in the same uh, time in the same space and the kids really figure out how to navigate that many of our kids are so flexible about using the roof space that there could be a football game happening at the same time as some kids building something with our big blue foam blocks, um, and they don't really even give it a second thought. This is a beautiful um, September afternoon. Yeah. The sun is out. Yeah. Everybody's screaming and having a good time. What's it like in the winter to come up here? 
You might hear the snow crunching or uh, teachers saying, uh, be careful with, uh, if you're going to slip and slide, make sure you're doing it in a safe way. It's really a fun place for the kids in all, all seasons. Um, it's a highlight of their day, even in the middle of winter. Do you want to try to uh, uh, interview some of your students? Oh, we could try to interview some okay. of them. What is that? So this is a microphone, and I'm interviewing some friends about what it's like to have roof. Okay, so we've got Jaden. Jaden, say hi. Hi, people. And what's your name? Jackson. So Jackson. My name is Bowden. My name is Vega. So my question for the four of you is, what is your favorite part of having recess of playing on the roof? Raise your hand if you want to answer. So like there's a jungle gym and you get like a lot of room to like play and run around. There's a lot of room to play and run around. Tell me more about the jungle gym, Bowden. So there's like a big slide and there's like a two slide that you can go on and like race on. And there's like somewhere to climb on. When I play on the rope, I I mostly just swing on it and then I and then when I want to get off, I just I just I just jump to the other side. Yeah, I just just jumped on my belly. I was, I was like, I'm going to land on my feet, and then I just jumped on my belly. Vigo, what's your favorite part about playing on the roof? Mm, getting blue blocks. What do you do with the blue blocks, Vigo? Play. Marla, what's your favorite thing to do on the roof? Sit around in the shade. Oh, what do you do in the shade when you sit around? I find blue blocks to cool off. What do you do in the winter when it's so cold outside? Do you still just sit around in the shade? No, I get on my snow pants and get on my snow hat and my gloves if I bring them and climb on the snow and build a snowman. Oh, so you're saying there's enough snow up here that you can build things out of the snow? Uh-huh. I like climbing the thing on the spider web and playing with the blue blocks. What do you do with the blue blocks, Neva? You build like little towers and homes. And then what do you do once you've built the towers and homes? You can, like, play in them and stuff. Penelope, what do you like to do on the roof? I like to play with my friends on the roof. Um, different things every day. Can you tell me what you played today? Um, hospital. And who were you in the hospital? The nurse. We... We play gymnastics. Gymnastics? Where do you do gymnastics on the roof? Over there. And what kind of gymnastics do you do? Lance and flips and curls. And I'm her judge. Oh, how's she doing? Tell me how she's doing. Great. Rose, you're playing too? And I'm playing too. Oh, so all four of you are playing gymnastics on the roof? Yep. But all right. I'm also watching them in a way. How do you make sure that you stay safe while you're playing gymnastics on the roof? We do it like, like on the we walls. We do it one at a time and we, so no one gets hurt. We don't do it and like also we do it on the walls. Oh, yeah. And do you think the teachers are also watching to make sure that you're safe? Yes. yes. All right. Have you ever done something that didn't feel very safe on the roof? Yes. Yes. Wait, yes. No. no. Yes, no. Maybe yes, so. Yes, 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 yes. I did something dangerous up there. I was on there, and then uh, I fell down. And were you okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad that you're okay. Thank you for sharing. And thank you too, Chris. I wish everybody a happy and healthy new school year. And remember to let your life speak. <laughs>